What control chart should you use? Well, that's determined by a number of questions that are asked. Starting here at the start, the first question we ask is whether or not you're dealing with variable or attribute data. Now, just uh, recall from a previous lecture that attribute data is data that uh, where the measurement can't be meaningfully subdivided. So on, off, true, false, yes, no, black, white, and uh, along those lines. Variable data uh, or variable measurement systems is where you can meaningfully subdivide the data. So length, time, weight, distance, hardness, temperature, and, uh, and that sort of thing. So let's assume we've got variable data. The next question is, is n uh, fixed and is it less than 10? And we're talking here uh, sample size or the subgroup size. And so when the answer to both of those questions, there's two, que two questions contained here. When the answer to both of those is no, then we use an X bar and standard deviation chart. If the answer is yes, then that leads us to a next question as to whether or not n is equal to 1 or whether it's some number uh, greater than 1 and, uh, and equal to or less than 9. If it's 1, we use uh, an individual's and moving range chart, IMR chart. And if it's between uh, 2 and 9, uh, inclusive, it's an X-bar and uh, range chart. If it's attribute data, then we, we are then asked if it's uh, defects or defectives. If it's defectives, then the next question is, is the uh, constant uh, sample size, uh, is the sample size constant? And if the answer is yes, then we use an MP chart. Uh, this is the number of defective units. Uh, d d signified here by N and P, and if the answer is no, then it's just a P chart where it's the actual the proportion of the uh, defective units. For if we're dealing with defects, and again we're asked whether or not the area of opportunity is constant, and if the answer is uh, yes, we use a C chart, uh, which is perhaps the number of mistakes per, let's say, 100 units, and if it's no, then we use a U chart, which is the number of mistakes you know, per unit. So the difference here, of course, is that we've got uh, an equal number of units each time, right? Because the uh, area of opportunity is constant. And over here, we do not. So it's the number of mistakes per unit. So those are very simple questions, but very important questions. And they, they will lead you to uh, deciding which control chart is the proper control chart to use for your process.